Hi everyone, Dave from Summit Racing Equipment. We're with Alex from Mr. Heater. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to choose the right portable heater for your garage or shop. And Alex, thanks for being here, first of all. But uh, I guess I wanna start more with the uh, heat delivery method, so to speak. So you've got radiant, uh, convective, convection, and uh, forced air. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the different, different styles there and the advantages of each. Absolutely. So when you're looking at how you want the area heated, like Dave mentioned, you have convective, you have forced air, which usually falls in the same kind of heater, and then you have radiant style heat. So we're gonna look at the radiant first. Uh, the big buddy to my right is a radiant infrared heater. And how that works is it'll heat objects, not the air. The heat is uh, sent directly in front of it to whatever is in front of it. So this is what makes this heater a great outdoor heater because you can set this up on the ice when you're ice fishing, keep yourself warm, and you're not trying to heat the air around yourself. But if you were to use this to heat a space, say a garage or a workshop, what you would want to do is turn this heater on and point it at yourself to keep yourself warm, or you could point it at a workbench or another object in the room, and then that object would then become warm from the heater and then become the furnace for the area. Once it became warm enough, heat would radiate off of that object, and then that's what would heat the space. Sometimes that can take a little bit of time. And if you're looking to move into a garage or a workshop and heat the space as quickly as possible, then you probably want to move to a forced air convection style heater. What this is going to do is going to generate a lot of BTUs and it's going to use fan fo a fan forced element to push the air out of the heater and into the, into the room that the heater is being used in, heating up the air as quickly as possible. Based on that information, uh, this style of forced air more popular for garages or shops or do you see people buying both? We see a mixture of both. And really, when you want to qualify somebody on which one they want, you kind of want to find out how they're going to use the heater. Is it going to be strictly a garage or a workshop heater? Are they going to be using it outside? Because both heaters are great for both indoor and outdoor as far as garages or workshops. So how you'd really want to qualify the person in that respect is how many times they're going to be using it outdoors or how many different functions are outdoors. And what kind of place they're going to be using it in. If it's mainly going to be within a garage or a workshop or possibly out and the heat's going to be pointed directly at them, both are going to be good, but maybe a fan forced air heater would be better because it's going to take a cold space and heat it up faster. Uh, but if they're going to be out there working for a very long period of time and they just want to be comfortable, a radiant style heater would be great for that because it'll take it a little bit longer to get the room up to temperature on a cold start, but it'll maintain that temperature a lot a lot better than a fan force heater once if you experience any kind of heat loss say the garage door opens up and you lose all that hot air in the room uh, radiant style heaters can have other objects in the room already preheated helping recover that heat a lot faster whereas a fan forced heater you're gonna have to reheat all that cold air again now is there typically because budget does often come into play with people. Is there a mm -hmm. difference based on those styles in price or is it across the board just depends on the output level? The higher the BTU you go, the more expensive the heater is going to become. So that's where you really want to figure out what kind of space they want to heat. And if it's a very large space, like say a pole barn, something like that, you're going to want to step up to a higher BTU heater, more likely a fan forced heater. Our radiant infrared heaters only go probably up to about 20,000 BTUs on the portable ones and uh, so but if you're looking for uh, to heat a very large space a fan forced heater is going to be better because we offer up to 400,000 BTUs in some of our portable propane forced heaters. So Alex uh, if somebody is obviously not well versed at picking the right portable heater for their garage or shop or wherever they might need it what's a good starting point to get them on the path to choosing the right one for their needs? So a great starting point is going to know the square footage of your room, and that's going to be length times width. And a, a great way to find out on average how many BTUs you're probably going to need is taking your length times width times 40. So if you have a 10 by 10 room that's 100 square feet, times 40 is going to give you about 4,000 BTUs. And that's going to be a good average on what you're going to need for the space. And then once you know that, you're going to be able to select between what kind of heat you want and what options you have available at that point in time. So if you have a bigger space, you're probably going to be limited to forced air heat. But if you have a smaller space where you're going to be under that 20,000 BTU range, you'll probably have some options between radiant style heat as well. Another heater that Mr. Heater also manufactures is forced air kerosene heaters. And those kerosene heaters can run off six different kinds of fuel. Both kinds of diesel, both kinds of oil fuel, kerosene, and also jet fuel, JP8. 
Awesome. So some good tips there for getting the right portable heater for your setup or your needs. Uh, as always, we carry the entire Mr. Heater line at summitracing.com. And also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention lots of good information at mrheater.com as well to help you out. Alex, thank you.